Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm covering views in Game Maker. Now, as a warning, views are a bit finicky and sometimes take a little bit of playing around with. So, I'm going to start by, as you can see, I've already created walls, a player sprite. I've created a wall, two players. Um, just to give you a demonstration, just simple move function. There's no collisions or anything enabled. The walls are just there for show. And you can see here, I've got a room set up. Now, I'll show you first how to set it up in the room, in here, in these settings. And then I'll show you how to do it by script and hopefully I don't stuff up. But I might because I've just spent the half hour or so playing with this. Um, okay, so in Game Maker, when you run a game, the room's size or the view of the room is set default to how big the room is. So what I mean by that, as you can see here, this is 1024 by 768, which is about HD, about. So if I change that to 2000, what you're going to see is my room's view is going to stretch out to match my room size, as you can see there. So what views should be able to help us do is prevent stuff like that, because that doesn't look all that good. So I'm going to drop it back down to 1024, and I'm going to get some old school game maker going. So first thing I'm going to do is enable view. I'm going to set the view to visible, and you can see here we have a whole bunch of functions under here. So you can see that this size marries up with this size. So I'm going to change that down to 640 by 480, because that's what I meant by old school game maker. That's what the views used to be set at because that's how big game maker rooms were. I'm going to set it to follow and this is how you center. So H bore and V bore relate to how far away from the border. So if I take my width, my view, width, so this controls the view, this controls where it is and how big it is. So, what I'll, I'll show you in a moment what I mean. So, I'm just first going to take this. Oh, I'll show you as it is. So, I'll show you what I mean. Because it can be confusing. So, if I change that back to 1024 by 768. So, that's back. So, what it's going to do is it's going to draw the view at 640 by 480. 640 by 480. But enlarge it to 1024 by, to, by 768. So as you can see now, if I move, you can see my player moving, and then when I get near the edge, the border starts to move. Now obviously that's not very helpful, is it? Because I can't really see what's in front of me. So, what I need to do is, if I change this down to 640 by 480, that's going to change how big the view is. And this will drop it down to the actual size. So as you can see, it looks less pixelated and looks a little cleaner. So that's the actual proper resolution. And you can see, again, I still have that. When I get near the border, it kind of pushes it. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to fix that little issue. And that's easy because that's just by taking H-Ball and dividing our view. So 640 is 320. And our vertical, or horizontal or height is for uh, 240 so that will hopefully center the position and we'll see now because I'm about to load it so because I'm out in the corner the view can't go any further either I'm just stating that but as you can see now I can see everything look there's the other player so that's more about how we want it to operate isn't it so, that's one player. Now, how do we do the second player? So, I'm going to do the same thing. 640 by 480. 640 by 480. And you can use any views you want. I'm just using this because it's a nice small number that's easy to deal with. 240. And I'm going to set it to follow player one. Oh, player two. Now if I run that, we will not see anything. 
we shouldn't see player two or player one it's one of the two because i think the views get prioritized okay so i'm looking over at player two now but player one hasn't shown up so the way we fix that is here i'm 90 percent sure if i go 640 what that does is in the loading screen or the the game window itself it's going to move it 640 across and if i'm right we should now see both players side by side as you can see what i mean is because it's it starts from zero 640 and then i've moved the next view which starts in the corner 640 so now we can see both players although i should most likely flip it around because that's a little confusing that player two is in first position but the point being is you can see they both work and they both do what they're meant to do so and that's not hard to fix because see i've moved player view zero so if i change that back to zero and i put that at 640 we're good so again something else that you guys might ask is how do i set up a map now maps aren't too hard so what we can do is again we do the same thing but we do it slightly differently this time so that's we need to look at the whole room and as you can see if i turn off the grid you got this these outlines now so each of those are views so we need to view in room is the full screen but this we're going to change so we're just going to go 120 I'd say isn't too big by 120 and we're gonna move it down not a well, we need to move it across 320 but minus 100 oh sorry minus 60 because we need to account for this width to move across to center it so you mass wizards out there would have already have, I have the answer I don't I'm a bit slow when it comes to mass sometimes so that needs to be 260. So the next part we need to do is the view is 240. Oh no, sorry, not 240. 480 down. So if I run that, let's see what happens. It might work, it might crash. Oh, no. So my mass was a bit off, but you can see down in the corner, we now have a map of the whole room. So that's how your basic viewing works. And what I'm getting at is each of these are functions you just type in view. The only one is I think that returns back as room underscore enable view from memory. But let's get this map to work a bit better and then I'll transfer the settings across and show you how to do it in the script. So that's a bit small so I'm just going to change that to 200 by 200. And I'm going to set that to, um, so 640, oh, no wonder I got it wrong, because it's not a quarter, I've done it by a quarter, not half, because now we've got it all the way. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, there we go, this is a bit more playable. So you can see here, we've got your views, and what I'm now going to set up is... I'm going to show you in a very simple way room view master um, how we can control these settings so I'm pretty sure if I go here and what I was talking about was room uh, room room room, room uh, set view enabled that's what I'm pretty sure I was thinking of I just need to whoop, double check something here just see what the values it needs global dot my room select two okay so I'm presuming it would be room zero I need because that's what it's going to refer to and value is true so that should turn on enable 
that value. And we don't need to worry about those two because that's easy. That That's preset, so you don't have to worry. So if I untick that and I put Viewmaster in somewhere, it doesn't matter where because you're not going to see it, the views should still work. Which it doesn't, makes me a lie. Anyway, as it's made me a liar, I'll have to do a little more looking into it. But that's how you set up views manually, and you can copy them across. The other powerful thing is you can... Um, so if I go VAR, view scale, zero, zero is equal to one. What we can do, so each of these is representative of one of the players, and the last one is the map. So I'm going to deal with the map first, so that's zero, zero, two, and I'm just going to relate that to if mouse, if I can spell wheel down, I'm just going to go minus equals 0 0.001. 0, 0, 0, and what this should hopefully do is zoom in. And then I'm just going to take view. And I'm going to take the width of view 2, I'm pretty sure it was. Yep, view 2. So I'm taking this view here, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just dragging that off to my other screen, view 2, and I'm going to go is equal to 1024 times view scale. I just can't remember how to enable the screens at the moment. Um, again, it's about playing, it's all just looking at views, or the view functions, most of it's pretty straightforward, it's just everything in here relates back to here so it's just a view and then it's kind of built in with it as an array and then you basically have everything you need to play with and then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do the reverse so I'm going to say up and I'm going to say instead of negative plus so hopefully what this shows us then is I can zoom in and out. All my views can be totally broken still. Because I didn't oh, didn't enable the view. Um, I'm pretty sure there is another way. I think it's view enable. Okay, so here we have the players again, but this time if I zoom, you can see I can actually zoom in down at the bottom here. So if you're making RTSs and that, you can do some pretty cool things with that and obviously you could potentially click around stuff like that and the same is applied to these two so if we go for example here oh, I'll just do it here if key um, I'm gonna say uh, press um, ORD because I'm going to be using a letter Q bracket oh, wrong way brackets I'm going to take because that's part of view 0 so 0 plus equals 0 point oh, come on come back 0 0.01 and then I'm just going to do the reverse And I'm going to say it is Z is going to take you back out. So then I'm just going to take this exact same bit of script, but this time change view from that to 1 because most of our views are the same. But what we need to remember is this value needs to match what our original size is. So 640 by 480. Okay. Oh. And that is incorrect because that's going to modify player twos. That's player ones. So let's see what this does now. So 
if I hit Q, oh wow, great, deal of nothing. Hmm. I broke something there. Oh. Again, I didn't put in the right functions. Let's try that again. So now that I've done that, you can see if I press it, I can zoom in on the player. And I can keep zooming in, or I can zoom out, and it remains centered. So basically those are your important ones, and again, I can do the same thing for the other player. And I just change ORD because again, now I'm going to be using a key. I'm going to say number one. I'm just going to change them to one because that's the next player set. And I'm going to change that to number four. And then here, I just copy and paste again. So there's a lot more on views as well. Um, there's a lot to cover. It's a real pain in the rear. I, th from what I remember, I'm just trying to remember how I last scripted it. I think you can go view, view underscore enable equals true. I think is the other way to do it. So if I turn that off and just try it again, it might keel over, it might not. Scripting, oh no, there you go, that's the command for it. There you go, I remembered. So you can see now I've got the two players. Oh, I just took them off screen. And this is painful. Why did I do a press, kids? Uh, do, 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 instead of press, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. It's just irritating me. But as you can see, it's not super difficult it just takes a bit of getting your head around there we go that's what we want so you can see I can zoom right in to the player I can zoom into that player if I wanted to I can zoom in and out on the map Ah, uh, but the map will zoom to the X point there so again you need to I'm trying to remember how I did it now so with the map because it's in the center, we need to move the center point. And I'm not sure, because the mask gets a bit weird. I think it's X view, and then we take X view, which is the X point, and then we need to shift it. But anyway, you guys get the rough idea. So those are your view functions. And then from memory, if I can remember, I think the other ones is you can go view enable, um, I think current that enables your room that's your H border um, H port you can see you get all the V speed is how fast your screen moves again you don't normally need to play with that you can play with X and Y all that rubbish you get your X's yada 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 and basically just think of it as an array from 0 to 7 and you just have to be mindful which ones you're working in um, so I hope this helped you can also do angles angles are cool I'll quickly show you what angles are so, something else that you can do, and I'm just going to do this to player one, just so you guys can see, this is just an example, I wouldn't do this if, other than just to show you guys, but if your player has a direction, you can actually set things like um, direction, so plus plus is an indicator to add one to variable, okay, that's all it is, so I'm just saying plus one. Okay, no it's not. It's doing funky things. I might have been using the operator wrong. Oh well. That's the point of programming. You program something. Oh, there it goes. That's what we want. So as you can see, I can rotate the view. And it gets pretty trippy. Actually, this reminds me of one of those old Sega Sonic Hedgehog games where you had to go through a maze thing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. 
again, like, favorite, subscribe, all that usual rubbish. I hope you have a great day. And again, if you want to see a tutorial, ask, and I'm normally more than happy to help. Again, I do. I am busy with work and other things, but I'll see what I can do. Have a lovely day.